Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to solve this uh, packet tracer activity ITN practice skills assessment packet tracer. Here, they given a few things to keep in mind while completing this activity. I'll go through all these. Also, they given the introduction here. Go through the introduction. Here we will practice and be assessed on the following skills. Configuration of uh, initial iOS device settings, design and uh, calculation of IPv4 addressing, configuration of iOS device interfaces including IPv4 and IPv6 addressing when appropriate, addressing of network host with IPv4 and IPv6 addresses, Enhancing device security, including configuration of the secure transport protocol for remote device management. Configuration of a switch virtual management interface. Requirements by device. So in two device, uh, we will uh, configure. One is a CS department. Here we can see that router. Then this uh, switch lab 214-a switch also we will configure all these uh, pcs with the ip uh, v4 and ipv6 address so here they given the details cs department router uh, configuration of initial router settings interface configuration and ipv4 and ipv6 addressing device security enhancement or a device hardening secure transport for a remote configuration connections as covered in the labs and the packet tracers in the course. Then here in this uh, switch, that is lab 214-A switch, enabling basic remote management by telnet. Then we have the uh, we have all these PCs, three PCs and one server, PC and the server host, IPv4 full addressing, also IPv6 addressing. Here we can see our addressing table, device, CS department, the switch, then edge devices. Here we can see IP address and uh, this addressing table is incomplete. They given only IPv6 address. So we have to um, update with IPv4 address, then it's a default gateway. First of all, we will go to step one determine the ip addressing scheme design an ipv4 addressing scheme and complete the addressing table based on the following requirements subnet to the 192.168.1.0/24 network to provide 30 host addresses per subnet while wasting the fewest addresses so we will do this uh, subnetting first so the address given is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and to make sure that 30 host addresses per subnet that means uh, we get eight subnets here we can see our subnet table uh, we have to use this ip address 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and uh, we are going to update this subnet table uh, we have a subnet number the number of host they already specified it is 30 then we will get network address first usable ip address last usable ip address broadcast address then submit to mask and the prefix length here in the instruction clearly they specified uh, provide 30 host addresses per subnet while wasting the fewest addresses so we can see the number of host 30 and here we will get total uh, 8 uh, subnet okay, let me give a subnet 1 subnet 2 and we get till 8 and in each subnet we will have uh, we can have 30 host So here, uh, network address for the uh, first subnet 192.168.1.0 Then first usable IP address 192.168.1.1 
then the last usable IP address or we can get the broadcast address first 192.168.1.31 so here is our last usable IP address one less than this broadcast address 192.168.1.30 then submit to mask 224.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
so here the number of host will be 14 so here we can see a network address first usable IP address now we have to get the broadcast address 192.168.1.1 so it's a 128 so we'll get uh, 142 so broadcast will be 143 right then last usable ip address will be 142 submit to mask Two forty slash twenty eight then coming to submit six network address one forty four first usable IP address one forty five then broadcast address for this subnet. So plus 14, so we get 159. Here the last usable IP address will be 158. Then sum to mask and the prefix length. In the same way, we have to identify the other uh, subnet. So here I will uh, go with the broadcast address. Okay, so uh, here we need fourteen. In Excel, we can do it very easily. Back to the instruction. Assign the second of these new 14 host subnets to the lab 214-a LAN. So here we can see that LAN, lab 214-a uh, LAN, which is connected to this interface G0 slash 1. Here in subnet table, we will highlight that uh, subnet. So from 14, the second subnet. So it's here. Assign the last network host address, the highest address, that means the last usable uh, IP address from the subnet, in the lab 214-A LAN subnet to the G0 slash 1 interface of the CS department router. Okay, we will uh, get the last usable IP address uh, from that subnet. So it's here. Then in addressing table, here we can see G0 slash 1. And this address will be the default gateway for this uh, server. Then uh, this uh, PC214-1, also this uh, switch. So here we can give that, then this switch also. Now assign the second to the last address, the second highest address in this subnet to the VLAN 1 interface of the lab 214-A switch. Okay, that can be done. Here is our switch, lab 214-A switch. So here we will give the second last usable IP address. So here we given the last usable IP address from the subnet. So we can copy this and do one less than this last usable IP address. It is 157. Configure addresses on the host using any of the remaining addresses in their respective subnets. Okay, so here uh, we can see 
uh, 124-1, 124-5, they are in the same subnet. And here we can see uh, these uh, edge devices, Q14-1 and the server, they are in the same subnet. Here we will copy the first usable IP address. Coming to addressing table and we will uh, give it to this PC. Slash 27. The next address we will give to the next PC. 98. Then here we can see 214-1. It's here. So we will use the first usable IP address. Slash 28. And here. One forty six. Here uh, we have to set default gateway uh, for this IPv6 address for each end devices. So we can see here we uh, we have to set this link local address. Uh, we can set the default gateway as this link local address here. It's a FE a zero double colon one. Okay. Yes, now our addressing table is uh, complete. Coming to step 2, uh, configure host addressing. Use the IPv4 addressing from step 1 and the IPv6 addressing values provided in the addressing table to configure all host PCs with the correct addressing. Okay, so our addressing table is ready. Uh, we have to configure all these uh, uh, hosts with IPv4 and IPv6. Then use the router interface link local address as the IPv6 default gateways on the host. Yes, we updated that in our addressing table. Then complete the configuration of the server using the IPv4 addressing values from step 1 and the values in the addressing table. Alright, so we will configure this host uh, with, our, uh, with the reference of our addressing table. Here is our addressing table. We will configure one by one. First of all, coming to 124-1 desktop IP configuration. So here we will give this address. Then something to mask. Default gateway. 126 here. No IPv6 address. We can type it or copy and paste it here. Slash 64. Then default gateway. Coming to 124-5. IP configuration. Here is IPv4 address. Then change some to mask. Default gateway. Coming to IPv6 address. Slash 64. Default gateway. Next is two one four dash one. IP configuration. Change the sub to mask to two forty. Then default gateway. Coming to IPv6 address, default gateway, slash 
server IP configuration. Submit mask. Default gateway. IPv6 address. Start 64. Default gateway. IPv6 default gateway. Now we will go to step 3. Configure the CS department router. Configure the CS department router with all initial configurations that you have learned in the course so far. So configure the router host name as CS department. Coming to this router. So we can see this configure is locked. So we can access this router using uh, any of this PC. So we have to connect console. Then coming to CS department, we'll connect to console. Then connect to any of this entity device. You will connect to 124-5 RS232. Go to this PC terminal. Click OK without changing any of these values. We will leave default. Enable. Conf T. So here we will set the host name. CS department. Okay. Next is protect device configurations from unauthorized access with the encrypted privileged exit password. That means we have to enable the secret. Enable secret. Uh, we will give some password, for example, uh, Cisco 12345. Now secure all access lines into the router using methods covered in the course and the labs. Okay, we have to configure all the lines like line, line console line BTY. So here we will go to line console zero first. We will set the password. Okay, we'll set Cisco 12345, then login. And also we can give login synchronous. Then if needed, we can set the exit timeout, so and so. Okay, right. Now we'll go to line VTY uh, for 0 to 4. Password Cisco one two three four five Login Next we can see require a newly entered passwords to have a minimum length of 10 characters Okay, just exit from the line mode exit then here we have to give security passwords you can set the minimum length 10 okay it's a minimum length prevent all passwords from being viewed in player text in device configuration files so we have to give a service password dash encryption. Next is configure the router to only accept in-band management connections over the protocol that is more secure than Telnet. That means we should use SSH as was done in the labs and the PT activities. 
use the value uh, 1024 for encryption key strength okay that can be done so we have to give a transport input as such also we have to configure local user authentication for in band management connections create a user with the name uh, net admin and a secret password of cisco underscore ccna7 okay that can be done so we will create this uh, username net admin then a secret password cisco underscore ccna7 now we have to give the crypto key generate but before that we have to uh, set two things one is host name and then another one is uh, domain name but uh, already we set a host name we will set the domain name ip domain name you will give us cisco.com not specified any specific name okay so we'll give cisco.com now we'll give a crypto key generate rsa 1024 also we can set the version ip ssh version 2 now we'll go to line vty 024 login local also transport input only ssh now here uh, b configure the two gigabit ethernet interfaces using the ipv4 addressing values that you calculated and the ipv6 values provided in the addressing table okay so reconfigure the link local addresses to the value shown in the table also document the interfaces uh, in the configuration file here is our addressing table and we got uh, two interfaces uh, for this uh, router cs department g0 slash 0 and g0 slash 1 so we will configure this ipv4 and ipv6 for these two interfaces so first of all we will go to interface g0 slash 0 then set the ip address 192.168.1.126 then sum to mask 224 also we can set ipv6 address just I will copy from here also we will set ipv6 address link local fe80 double colon 1 link dash local then activate this interface no shutdown also even we can set the description for this interface description we can say connected to this is a switch right so it's a lab 124-c switch now we will go to the interface g0 slash 1 set the ip address 192.168.1.158 then uh, submit to mask also set ipv6 address then set ipv6 address fe80 double colon 1 as link local we can set a description we can say connected to lab 214 dash a switch no shutdown Now here coming to step 4, configure the lab 214-A switch, configure lab 214-A switch for remote management over telnet. 
so we have to configure the vlan 1 as the sbi also configure ip before addressing according to uh, your work in step 1 then be sure that the switch is able to accept connections from host on other network that means we have to configure the default gateway also here we will try to access the switch directly so configure is locked we will choose console connect to the switch console then connect to uh, any of the pc we will connect you to 14-1 rs232 go to this pc 214-1 terminal okay enable Con configure terminal now we will go to interface vlan 1 and we can set the ip address here we can see that then it's a submit mask it's here slash 28 we will give 255.255.255.240 exit and set ip default gateway it's here press enter also we can set the description uh, we can say svi for management okay description uh, we have to give description for the vlan right so interface vlan one and uh, description can give this a description also we have to activate this uh, virtual interface we have to give no shutdown command so as uh, here we use ipv6 we have to enable ipv6 uh, unicast routing in this router so we'll go to cs department i mean 124-5 terminal okay and here go to global configuration mode and we have to give ipv6 unicast routing so uh, our configuration completed but we can see this completion status shows only 93 percentage so we may have to do some more uh, basic settings so here we have to do some uh, configuration of initial router settings in cs department so we will uh, add some more uh, configurations i mean initial router configuration whatever uh, not done we will set a uh, banner motd message of the day banner motd we will give warning Just we will verify these PCs, all the address given, IPv4, IPv6, okay here we can see uh, this IPv6 address not taken, so once more we will give that, slash 64, okay. Now here still we are in 97 percentage and uh, in this switch here they specified uh, be sure that the switch is able to accept connections from host on other networks. So here uh, we did not configure the telnet so we will configure the telnet uh, in this uh, switch lab 214-A. So access this uh, switch. So here we will go to line VTY 0 to 15 or we can give 0 to 4 uh, how many lines needed. Uh, we will set a password 
सिस्को वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव लॉग इन एंड कॉपी रन स्पेस स्टार्ट ओके नाउ इट्स कंप्लीशन स्टेटस हंड्रेड परसेंट परफेक्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव सीन आईटीएन प्रैक्टिस स्किल्स असेसमेंट पैकेट ट्रेसर now dear friends if you get any doubt please comment below or even you can contact our team details you will get from the description stay tuned we will meet again with the next video thank you